Lesson number one: How seasons occur, part one. In that, we have already discussed about circle of illumination, rotation of the earth, revolution of the earth, and axis of the earth. Today, we are going to discuss about equinox and solstice. Before moving further, let's revise the concept of important latitudes. So let's see the important latitudes on the earth. The middle line is called as equator. Equator divides the earth into two equal parts that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Apart from equator, there are more important latitudes like Tropic of Cancer, Arctic Circle, North Pole. And in Southern Hemisphere, you will find Tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle and South Pole. Latitudes are expressed in degrees as well as direction. If we talk about degree of equator, then it is zero degree. When we talk about Tropic of Cancer, the degree of Tropic of Cancer is 23 and a half degree. In Southern Hemisphere, Tropic of Capricorn is also marked as 23 and a half degree. But what is the difference as per the direction? When we talk about Tropic of Cancer, then we find it 23 and a half degree north. Because Tropic of Cancer is situated in Southern Hemisphere. Same in Tropic of Capricorn, we find it 23 and a half degree south because it is situated in Southern Hemisphere. Likewise, when we talk about Arctic Circle, Arctic Circle is 66 and a half degree north as it is situated in Northern Hemisphere. Antarctic Circle is marked as 66 and a half degree south because it is situated in Southern Hemisphere. North Pole is 90 degree and South Pole is 90 As we know, the axis of the earth is tilted to 23 and a half degree. Due to which, sun rays falls on different places during different seasons. This leads to variation in the duration of daytime and nighttime. For this, we need to understand the concept of equinox and solstice. Equinox, the word equi means equal, that is equal day and equal night. Equinox are of two types, spring equinox and autumn equinox. When we talk about solstice, then it is again divided into two parts, winter solstice and summer solstice. Spring equinox, 21st March and 22nd March. Remember students, there can be a difference of one day. On spring equinox, equator receives maximum amount of solar radiation because sun rays are perpendicular on equator. As a result, both the hemisphere will receive equal amount of sunlight and length of day and night are equal. It will be 12 hours day and 12 hours night. In other words, we can say that on equinox, the duration of day and night will be equal. After 21st March, in Northern Hemisphere, there will be spring and in Southern Hemisphere, there will be autumn. As in Northern Hemisphere, there is spring, days are longer and nights are shorter. Opposite to it, in Southern Hemisphere, as there is autumn season, days are shorter and nights are longer. Summer solstice, 21st and 22nd June. On this day, sun rays are perpendicular on Tropic of Cancer. It means Tropic of Cancer will receive maximum amount of solar radiation. In Northern Hemisphere, it is summer solstice. And in Southern Hemisphere, it is winter solstice.
Besides this, the duration of daytime in northern hemisphere is longest in the year. Opposite to it, the duration of daytime in southern hemisphere is shortest in the year. 24 hours daylight on Arctic Circle. 24 hours daylight. on arctic circle and 24 hour darkness on antarctic circle students let's understand the reason behind 24 hour darkness on antarctic circle as sun rays are perpendicular on tropic of cancer the northern hemisphere will receive maximum amount of solar radiation and due to the tilt of the axis, the sun rays are not able to reach to Antarctic circle. Therefore, there is 24-hour darkness. Autumn equinox, 22nd and 23rd September. On this day, the overhead sun will be on equator again. It means sun rays are perpendicular on equator. Due to which both the hemisphere will receive equal amount of solar radiation and the duration of day and night will be equal. That is 12 hours day and 12 hours night. After 22nd September, the northern hemisphere will be on autumn. Where days are shorter and nights are longer. And southern hemisphere will be on spring. Where days are longer and nights are shorter. Winter solstice. 21st and 22nd December. On this day, sun rays are perpendicular on Tropic of Capricorn. It means Tropic of Capricorn will receive maximum amount of solar radiation. In northern hemisphere, it is winter solstice. And in Southern Hemisphere, it is Summer Solstice. Duration of daytime in Northern Hemisphere is shortest in the year and duration of daytime in Southern Hemisphere is longest in the year. Besides this, Arctic Circle will receive 24 hours darkness. And Antarctic Circle will receive 24 hours daylight. Winter solstice, 
21st and 22nd December. This cycle of season goes on due to revolution of the earth, spring equinox, then summer solstice, autumn equinox, winter solstice, again spring equinox. As our earth revolves around the sun, the cycle of season goes on. That's all for today's. Thank you.